Good morning. I'm Brent Glass, director of the National Museum of American History, and it's a great pleasure to welcome all of you here this morning for a very important dedication of a bust for Ken Baring, our friend uh, for many years to this museum, who's made a huge difference in what this museum has become. Uh, right now, the National Museum of American History is the largest and most popular history museum in the country. And um, every day I'm reminded of just the meaning that people attach to the American History Museum and how much they value it. And this is a big day at the Museum for National History Day. We have some of these students who have projects on display um, uh, on the first floor. We have about 48 uh, projects on display in the museum from almost every state in the country. If you have any time after this ceremony, please go downstairs to see these projects and meet the students who have put them together. These are the winners, the state winners, uh, in, uh, in the National History Day competition. I've been to the National History Day festivities before and heard from students who were before you present projects and was absolutely amazed at the work that had been done and the commitment that the students had made uh, to their projects and to their subjects. We really gather here today to uh, thank Ken and his family. Their contribution to the Smithsonian is indeed historic. Today we celebrate that contribution so that the millions who come to this museum this year and the generations who will come the next year and the years following will know the role that Ken and his family played in the revitalization of this wonderful museum. Philanthropy touches all we do and all we aspire to do. Our collections, our buildings, our educational offerings, our exhibitions, and our amazing and talented people are all touched by philanthropy. It enriches our ability to inform, to inspire, and even amaze the millions of visitors who come here year in, year out, even to the point of changing their lives, which is a story I hear often. It is especially pertinent that Ken is recognized in this museum because his life is one of succeeding against long odds. You've demonstrated the power of the American ideal, succeeding against odds, and while doing so, sharing back with those who are in need. I am proud to be with you on this day and with your family to celebrate and recognize your generosity and your commitment to making a better future for our country and making the world a better place. When one considers a person who loves and supports and defends his country and its interests with devotion, one is hard pressed to think of a phrase more befitting of Ken Berry. As a measure of his character, of his passion, of his life's work, spent as much as a captain of industry as, I believe, a modern day patriot. Throughout his life of building from the ground up and the success that followed, Ken searched for an elusive, this elusive fulfillment that he couldn't find. Even with all that he accomplished, he still wondered what his true purpose was and would be. And to that end, in 2004, he wrote a book entitled The Road to Purpose, which chronicled his life and journey in finding that calling he so earnestly sought. He said that people of purpose are sustained by a mission for a cause greater than themselves, for a direction that gives meaning to their lives, they face each day with conviction and energy, less concerned about the pursuit of wealth and status than they are about living for a larger meaning in their lives. And I've also learned that anyone can become one of the people of purpose. Membership in that uh, wonderful club is open to all. It's not a birthright. It is not attained by a sudden turn of good fortune or universal popularity. It has nothing to do with money, and everything to do with finding and sustaining joy. Not happiness, joy. Which brings us today into these halls for recognition of all that Ken Baring and his family have made possible here at our National Museum of American History. As chairman, it is my pleasure to thank you on behalf of the board and on behalf of the more than four million guests who visit this museum each year. We thank you for your generosity. We thank you for your passion. And we thank you for the enduring optimism that has always been a hallmark of our great country. 
Well, thank you. Um, I'm, I'm normal like everybody. Uh, you, you like to hear good things, but I think this went a little bit far. <laughs> but my passion really is, I believe in history. I don't think we can go into our next 20, 30 years without looking back and finding what happened in our history that made us the greatest country in the world. Thank you for all the remarks. Uh, uh, it's so great having friends. I mean, friends are what makes the world. And friends can get together and produce things and make things happen. So I hope with the friends that we have here that I've met that I can work with them and hopefully we can make a lot more things happen here. That's going to give children of the future uh, more of a chance to see our history and to be guided by it and to have a better life for them and our country. Thank you.